All right, so now let's cover the cranial nerves, those dreaded cranial nerves. There's 12 of them. So we're gonna be giving you guys a, just a general overview. We're gonna go way more in detail in the other sections within this course. So starting with cranial nerve number one, we say that this is the olfactory because we have one nose, right? So just one. Now, cranial nerve number two. That's gonna be your vision, vision only. What's special about cranial nerves one and two is they are sensory only because they're the only ones that are in your anterior brain. Ah, okay. Three through 12 though, those are in your brain stem. So okay. some of those are motor only, or some of them do both. Now cranial nerve number three, four, and six move your eyes in different directions. So I always remember a lot of numbers, your eyes are moving in different directions. Now cranial nerve number five is the trigeminal. So remember, tri means three, and it innervates three areas, basically the forehead, cheek, and jaw. And this includes jaw movement. So for cranial nerve number five, simply slap your face and then smile and it'll indicate jaw movement. Hey there, nursing student, listen up. Did you know only 20% of our videos are here on YouTube? You're missing out on over 900 videos not on YouTube, plus 500 visual study guides that follow along every video and a massive quiz bank to test your knowledge. All neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free. Visit simplenursing.com today. Now, number seven is control of facial movements and taste. So this one's my favorite. You make a L7 loser and you go down and put your tongue out. So now you can understand that it's moving your face and also having to do with taste. Now, number eight is the ears. So I just like to make a little snowman like an eight and turn on its side and becomes earmuffs, right? So for your ears. And then nine and 10 is the back of the throat. I don't have any memory tricks for that one. Nine and 10, you just gotta, gotta know because they're some of the most important ones, especially cranial nerve number 10. It's kind of mm -hmm. one of the cool nerves. Oh, yeah. Because it's the vagus nerve. The vagus, okay, so actually I do remember a really good memory trick because they always say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Right. So you don't want to be throwing anything up, right? So what happens in the vagus nerve 10, the back of the throat, you want it to stay there. You don't want to throw anything up. Now, cranial nerve number 11, you just shrug your shoulders by putting two little fingers up like number 11 and shrug your shoulders and even move your head and neck for cranial nerve number 11. And the last one here is cranial nerve number 12. That is tongue movement. And I don't have any fancy tricks for that one, unless you do. That one, it's one of the easiest ones to test because you just have your patient say light, tight, dynamite. Whoa, okay. And if they can say that, then they can move their drunk tongue. <laughs> their they can move their drunken tongue in all the directions we care about. That's, uh, you know what, what is it, light, tight, and right? L light, tight, dynamite. Now the actual names of each nerve are more for pathophysiology courses. Now health assessment course mainly touches on the number and how to test for it, not necessarily the big long name here.